Hello everyone, it's me, Irma Elias. I started to think about uh, my daughter today, the fact that her low back is hurting. She's a student, she sits all day. A lot of you um, have sedentary jobs, a lot of you sit all day, and you wind up having low back pain. Generally, what happens is people avoid exercise thinking that their back hurts. They think that avoiding the exercise is the best thing to keep their backs from getting further uh, pain or injury. The way to avoid uh, pain and injury and uh, muscle soreness and low back pain is exercise. Today I want to talk about a different um, style of exercise that uh, you might want to do in the gym but you might not want to do in the gym you might want to do it at home or just anywhere that you enjoy getting outdoors what i want to talk about is walking and the benefits of walking um, for your low back i walk probably about six hours a week and i found that it has reduced the amount of pain that i feel in my low back it makes me happy to walk. I enjoy it. And uh, I wanted to share a little bit of that for a lot of you that don't think about walking as a primary uh, aerobic exercise. A simple walking, walking outside, walking your dog uh, could, that could help you in more ways than one. So I'm going to take uh, a lot of my information from an article uh, written by Spine Health. Uh, the doctor's name is Andrew Cole, uh, MD, and uh, this is what he has to say. Walking is relatively easy to do and one of the most overlooked ways that you can help relieve and prevent future flare-ups of low back pain. Two specific and direct benefits of adding a regular walking routine to your lower back treatment program are highlighted here in this article. So the first thing is walking strengthens the muscles that support your spine. Your trunk, your core, and your lumbar, uh, low back muscles play a vital role in maintaining the stability and movement of your lower back. These muscles can become deconditioned and weak from a sedentary lifestyle, causing malalignment of the spine, meaning, you know, well, chiropractors call it subluxation. Um, it, it means that it, it literally is changing uh, the normal curvature of your spine. Over a period of time, there may be an increase in mu muscular weakness, fatigue, injury, and pain. The overall mass of your spine muscles may even reduce. So you're, not only is your spine um, changing its normal curvature, it's, it's becoming, the muscles around it are, are reducing in size. When you walk, the health of your back muscles is improved in, in many, many ways. Uh, it increases the blood flow. A decreased physical activity can cause the small blood vessels of your spine to become constricted, reducing blood flow to the spinal muscles. Walking helps open up the blood vessels, increasing the supply of oxygen and nutrients to these muscles. It flushes out toxins. Muscles produce physiologic toxins when they contract and expand. Over time, these toxins can accumulate within the lower back muscle tissues and it causes stiffness for a lot of us, especially people that are midlife. Walking helps flush out these toxins and improves your flexibility. These factors can combine to build strength of the muscles of the low back, adding to the strength and integrity to your low back. So the second thing is walking increases flexibility in your lower back. Lack of physical activity can cause the muscles and joints in your lower back and hips to become stiff. This stiffness creates increased pressure on the lumbar spine, altering its normal curvatures. Walking increases your flexibility by stretching the muscles and ligaments in the back, legs, and buttocks. When you walk, specific muscles, such as your hamstrings, your erector spinae in your back, 
your uh, glutes, your hip flexors are activated and stretched. The flexibility of your spinal ligaments and tendons is also increased, improving the overall range of motion in your lower back. That way, if you walk daily, you're gonna be more flexible. You're gonna feel better. So what are, what are some of the additional benefits of walking? I mean, I, I know that a lot of you have heard, heard it, but maybe it hasn't you know, gone into your psyche. I want you to think about walking as a primary form of exercise for you to relieve the stresses of the day and, and make you feel better. Walking can improve your function in your lower back. It also has health benefits. Here, here I'm gonna list some. It reduces and maintains uh, our optimal weight. So if you want to curve off a, a few pounds, walking is a very good way to begin. It keeps your blood pressure under control. It improves your level of total cholesterol. It reduces the risk of heart disease and a dementia. These are things that we start to think about more and more as we age. And finally, it decreases your anxiety and depression, which could be a symptomatic of having low back pain. Walking also helps increase the production of endorphins. This is something that, that's pretty common knowledge now. Um, they're pain reducing or pain inhibiting hormones, decreasing the overall perception of pain. So here's some tips to help prevent your lower back pain while walking. Your walking pace and duration depend on your level of tolerance follow these tips. You start with a short five to 10 minute walk every day, every day, and gradually work your way up. You may use a treadmill or an elliptical machine based on your preference. But if you're gonna use a treadmill, uh, use the incline. That way you can get your heart rate up um, and, and achieve a moderate amount of exercise. You want to get your heart rate up. If regular walking is painful, try walking in a shallow pool. The buoyancy of the water may provide enough relief to allow you to complete your walking exercise. So you, you guys have heard of people using um, uh, swimming pools or um, shallow pools to do their exercise. That's because it makes it easier and less painful. Always use correct posture. That's very important. I, I will talk about posture, you know, all the time. By keeping your spine naturally curved. So you're gonna think about your, your normal, natural lumbar curvature. Your shoulders must be relaxed and your head balanced on top of your spine and not flexed forward. You're gonna walk with your head on atop your shoulders and your spine erect. The key to any walking program is to start right away. You know, uh, I've heard you guys say that I'm enthusiastic about just about anything, and I am. Walking is, uh, I think, an underrated exercise that brings you much happiness, uh, being, especially if you walk in, in the wilderness, it helps, uh, it, it's basically as beneficial as meditating you get all, it's the fact that your brain is sidetracked or you're thinking or planning or creating in your mind better ways to do things. So you're creating solutions. Uh, the fact that you are in the wilderness, I, I, I think that it ups that uh, meditative, curative kind of thinking that uh, will allow you to be more positive and more happy during the day. The long-term uh, effects is improving your health of your low back tissues, restoring function and preventing pain. When I hear my daughter complaining about her low back and she's so young, I know that um, you know a lot of us lead sedentary lives. A lot of us have to sit in our cars and commute and sit at our desks uh, every day. 
And you know, an eight hour day can, can easily turn into a 12 hour day of, of, of being sedentary. So if you get up in the morning and you walk for 10 minutes before you go to work, or if you uh, have a lunch break and you can walk 10 minutes of that lunch break, you know, take the stairs. And then when you get home, uh, be, let's say you get home before dark, you know, take a walk. If you can't do that, then um, walking on a treadmill is equally beneficial. Like I said, it, it, especially if you uh, do it on an incline, you're, you're gonna wanna use the incline to, so that you can get a moderate workout or a moderate level of getting your heart rate up. I'm really going to emphasize walking throughout uh, the time that I'm, I'm teaching you all how to uh, improve your health and turn back the clock, how to get younger and feel better and be pain-free. I choose walking over running uh, due to the fact that running can further injure your uh, joints, specifically your knee joint, and um, you do need motion to get the fluids into that joint. That's It's important to move, but whether you choose to jog or walk is up to you. I choose to walk since it is more gentle on my spine and my joints. Hi guys, taking my daily walk. I just thought I'd give you a look-see at what I go through uh, daily for my good health and my optimistic and positive spirit. Um, I'm in Contra Costa County, Northern California now, enjoying uh, getting my tennis shoes on and letting them hit the pavement. A few tips. Guys, don't forget to put on sunscreen. It's very important. You need to put it on your face and your hands, your neck. Um, also, some sunshades would be good and a wide brimmed hat like I've got here. That way um, you don't get too much sun. Sun is good for you, but too much sun isn't. Also, uh, make sure you go when the weather's good and you wanna keep a pace that you can carry conversation. Say you go with a friend, but you don't wanna be able to sing. If you can sing, then um, you're not going fast enough. So you need to keep a moderate pace. Uh, probably you can bring some weights, put them on your ankles or your wrists, swing your arms back and forth, um, make sure you're sweating and uh, enjoying God's green earth. Enjoy guys. I hope you guys benefited from the information that I just talked about and incorporate walking into your lives daily. Like I said, I do six hours a week. You guys don't need to do that. You can do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, and 10 minutes in the evening, half an hour a day. Walk, it's good for you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, lesson today and if you liked it uh, please smash the like button and hopefully you guys subscribe to my station so I can continue to give you similar content teach you more about ways to turn back the clock feel younger look younger and uh, just be more positive optimistic and happy thank you for watching guys